So hello guys welcome back to the channel I hope you all are absolutely fine and sound and here I'm back with another exciting opportunity basically it is an open source event you must be knowing about it hacked off our face so let's cover this first of all if you're new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now let's move to the act of our face home page so basically hacked over fist most of you have already participated in previous cohorts but some of you are totally new to this event so let me brief you about a hacked over fist what is hacked over fist so basically it is an event designed by the organizer organizers which help people to learn about basically open source contribution the contribution can be in any form from basically improving the documentation to just fixing the bugs adding a features and many more things so basically it is again here you can see it's the time of year again October 1st is nearly upon us and here basically the registration will be started from 15th of September so stay tuned and when the registration will be starting I'll share how to register do not worry about it so here you can see these are the sponsors so it is a genuine event because you can see here github it itself sponsoring it and also the dev and open source initiative too so here basically how to participate so basically they are talking about the september it is a prep timber basically they are making aware of all the rules regulations and all the basic things you need to take care while participating so here basically there are some cool digital badges some swags also some basically organizers not the hacked over face but some organizers have their own programs running during the hacked over face which provides some cool goodies like hoodies you can say basically bags jackets and many more things you can check it out so here first of all let me tell you about the main theme over participation so here basically everyone is welcome okay everyone without any age limit there is no age limit anyone can take part in this program and i will recommend to take part even if you don't know anything take part it will help you to learn about git and github and many more things you can learn and explore and here you need to understand that quality is key but quantity is fun here it does mean that many of people start making spammy pull request and basically spammy pull request to make okay and it which is very wrong to the program and it damages the core value of the events and basically it becomes for the basically the project maintainer to just maintain the project if you keep spamming he will be unable to find the genuine PR so here I will tell you about all the pull requests what is a pull request what is all these things do not worry about it so here this program is to make you aware about the open source events okay this does not mean after october basically this event will start from october and will be ending in basically till november okay first of november the event will be ending so this is not that you start from october and in november and just disappear for the whole year this is to give you a kick start for your future now here you can see that what are the participation rules so you can register any time from 15th of September to October 31st. Okay, you can see here the timeline is already mentioned over here. Now the pull request and merge request. When you create a pull request, the project manner or in simple word, you can say the GitHub repo owners will merge your pull request. And here they should have a hacked over face topic linked on it. Then only it will be counted over here now here important thing is that you can register anytime from 15th of september to 31st of october and important thing is that you need to make sure that your pull request is needing github and gitlab you must be knowing about the github similarly gitlab is also that kind of thing only basically a repository here also we create pull requests and get it merged like this only but here i'm talking about the github only and here they have mentioned you have to aim for four high quality pull requests merge between 1st of august till 31st of august with project maintainers accepting your pull request for them to count towards your total what does it mean basically you have to submit for quality many people what they do they just add a comma or just add the basically update the letters how you can improve the documentation 
for example you can just see many people have created very good readme files etc so how you can just improve the readme like you can create the language translational readme for example the readme is showing in english in this country and it automatically translates to basically if you are from indonesia it indonesian language or whether if you are from basically from turkey it changes to turkish like this it automates automatically it changes the language when the person switches to github repo like this feature you can build or you can, if you are building a web app you can create an integrate and chat app if it is a basically web app you can just integrate a chat app like this you can just create four high quality prs okay now here you'll be getting a digital badge which you can showcase on your linkedin and basically add your repository add in your resume also basically github acts as a social resume basically it will help you a lot if you have made a high quality contribution okay so here it is about and here resources for beginners how to contribute here they have mentioned all the resources how to start how to the project you will be getting and here let me show you uh, basically open projects here you can see they have mentioned these are the basics projects to help you learn basically let me first of all tell you for this program you need a github account okay for this program you need a github account so just come to github.com and just click on sign in sign up if you don't have the basically the if you don't have the github account you can just sign up over here and all the details you have to enter and just like you create any account you have to create it now here i have already an account so i am signing in and here just i am signing in over here i'll tell you each and everything do not worry about it so here is the basically here let me show you the this example i will cover each and everything first of all let me show you so here is the introduction space how to use the git and github they have mentioned you can see here is completely guideline how you can just configure your username last name how you can clone any repository how you can just push and push the github repo how you can just check the status how you can add a file etc all these things are covered over here you can check it i will share the link in the description do not worry about it now here are some general projects okay you can check it now to just improve your skills you can see how the github training module and here basically the important steps you need to know before contributing to any open source repository here they have mentioned that if you have any confusion you can just reach out to any support and basically in short i want to share before contributing to any repository i'll make a guide how to contribute in any repository too in the next video when the event will be starting there will be complete guide so basically here we have to read first of all the issues then also the readme file what we have mentioned and then accordingly we have to work we will not create a pull request directly on our own okay there is some guidelines also so here are some samples now here are pull request and merge request pr and mr basically when you create basically when you create a pull request you create a pull request and the project maintainer basically the github repo owner will merge it under hack to work test so here you can see you have to basically get it merged from 1st of october to 31st of october after that if it gets merged then it won't be counted now here we have to just see here are the lists so basically many people create intentionally the github repo for this october phase to cheat the system so this is not allowed and it goes against the values so here basically you can see you can just report it to them if you want now here do not make spammy pull request this is the most important thing okay they are just have included they have integrated basically suppose any pull request is made by you and the project maintainer marked is a spam basically you made a minor minor fix or just you damage their report like me i've seen in previous cohort basically in 2021 many people used to just change the spelling add a full stop or add a comma and this is a kind of basically i consider it is a contribute it cannot be country sorry it cannot be considered as a contribution because it is a minor thing okay very minor thing because you're just upgrading the letter 
for beginners it might be a good thing to learn but as a senior manager i can see that this is a wrong practice so now here you need to make sure that you are contributing to genuine repositories and some important thing here regarding the participation guide is that you have to make sure that the repository in which you are contributing is having Hacktoberfest tag in it. Okay. Hacktoberfest tag in it and must be done by 1st October. So you can request the maintainer by tagging them and ask them to add the label. Okay. Now here, just come over here. So here they want to share that basically if it is label rather than valid then it won't be counted so make sure to do not spam anyone's repository now here this is basically yes once you once any of your basically your pull request is marked as basically marked as basically any of your pull request got merged and there will be seven day review period because many times what happens some maintainers by mistake just merge the PR in that case they can re-review it if they have made any mistake and they can reward the changes too so there will be seven day after seven days have passed you will be getting the points for it now here you can see here we will continue evaluating all the checks until all your PRs are completed basically the merging period completes the seven day review period except the participating check which is one time if it fails it will be reset during the seven timer reset will be reset okay so basically they want they will be checking up to seven days and once the seven days passed you will be getting the badge without any issue and it will be accepted so once the review period is closed then that pr cannot be demerged okay it will show one out of four now here One more important question is that if suppose your PR got merged in 31st of October, so will it be valid? So yes, there will be 7 day review period till 7th of November or 6th of November depending on the team. So they will consider it like this. Do not worry about it. Now here, one more important thing I wanted to share that many of you are having some FAQs over here. So, do you get a reward for participating in the October phase? So, basically, you'll be getting a knowledge fund and you'll be getting a digital badge for October phase. But don't worry, there are some good goodies also. I'll show you. I have uploaded in my channel also and you'll be getting to. There are several events running parallelly. I will share the event details also. Do not worry about it. So, will you receive the digital badge? Will be sent to your email? And will there be a sheet t-shirt? So, basically... So basically they have mentioned that So here yes here is uh, the important thing is that they will be ten, first 10,000 people to complete this challenge will be getting the t-shirt and basically there will be verified maintainer and only valid for the 10,000. So you'll be getting a cool t-shirt. I will show you. Do not worry about it. So can you submit multiple PRs? Yes, you can submit it. Do. Can you make, make repositories? Basically, can you make pull request in your same repository? So the answer is yes. You can make it. And basically, they recommend to complete, complete this challenge in other repositories and other projects. And basically... So basically this is the main thing you need to know and this is only thing you need to know. If you have any queries you can let me know in the comment section. Regarding the swags let's come to the challenge channel sorry. Hacktoberfest just let me search Hacktober. Okay I made a mistake. 
So here you can see is the cool t-shirt, stickers, all these things. And I have got it. You can see all these swags are available over here. Okay, you can see all these swags are available over here. I'll link the video in the description. You can watch it. So these are the swags which we have got for the Hacktober Fest. And you can watch it. If you face any issue, you can let me in the comment section. Do like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Have a great day ahead.